So how's it going everyone? It's Flame. Welcome everyone to finally a brand new video here to the channel. It's actually been quite a bit since I uploaded. I'm just a terrible YouTuber for not uploading on this channel. I know I always say stuff, for example, I try to give you guys updates on BO4 or try to play other games for walkthroughs and that, and I just don't do it. It's mostly just my anime channel that I'm frequently uploading on every single time to get videos out right there. So the people that follow this channel, I just want to say I quickly apologize. But as the title of this video, and I figured I'd just say it, yes. I've dyed the hair pink. If you know me as a person, if you followed me for a very long time, you know that I frequently dye my hair a lot. Is there a reason for it? Not really, I just think that it's cool. But going to the game here today, it's been quite a bit since I actually played Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Um, as you can probably tell, as I can go to the screen right here, I'm currently leave 10 prestige, level 33. We're so close to prestige master. We can tell we're halfway to the score right there, as you can tell my KD and everything like that. Not a bad score so far, but I'm probably the last person to ever get these challenges done. I've seen everyone mostly in the gaming community now either have Dark Matter Camo or they're already Prestige Master and working to like 100 or 200 somewhere around there and it's like I feel like I put a good time into this game but I haven't really I guess fully dived into it and I still gotta play a lot more. There's excuses that I can make throughout all this but I don't really want to turn into that. I don't want to do it. Just I have to keep on grinding, keep on playing, and hopefully to eventually get there, which I should be here soon. Like, I'm glad I'm finally almost Prestige Master. I'm glad I almost had that Dark Matter grind, which it was a pain, but at the exact same time, it's such a fun goal to go through every single time. Before I actually begin though, they actually did a little bit of an update to this game. For example, they have Chaos Hardpoint in this game mode, which actually increases the score to 1000, and I believe it's 10 minutes for the game mode. This is absolutely insane. I don't know why I like these game modes, and I can tell why people are mad where they're like, we should add new game modes and not like this game modes, for example, if it's Hardpoint or Domination and just up the score. If you're a pub stomper, you're someone that wants to level up in this game. I I highly recommend these game modes. It's fun. Are you going to be facing tryhards? Probably, but if you're a guy that can absolutely destroy people and keep getting their streaks over and over again, these are definitely game modes you should try out. Uh, Mercenary, the added safeguard. This is a game mode, of course, from Call of Duty Black Ops 3, which it was pretty fun. I know my friend's uh, favorite game mode is this, and it's kind of fun here or there, but I'm just going to go to a simple team deathmatch here for this video because I haven't played this game in like three days, and I got to really practice my shot. So far, though as of the dark matter grind i am so close to completing it i have three submachine guns left to do number one is spitfire i think i only have one more camel to do which is the purple hex i'm currently working on the cordite on here and then we have the sog which we're like halfway done I i'm just happy that at least for myself while going for dark matter that i i chose like i guess the easy guns last like i didn't want to do like a hard one for example be stuck with like the knife or the rocket launcher or something like that did those at the beginning to get it all done with and then I could have, you know, I guess the best guns forever. And oh my gosh, that dude has a riot shield. This gameplay as well, they actually did add, uh, you know, Sunset Seaside and I believe Dark um, Firing Range. And the Dark Firing Range reminds me of actually the Fringe mode. You know, the Fringe Nighttime that they added during Black Ops 3. Does it kind of change the game a little bit? I do think so, just because of visibility wise. Like, for example, Sunset Seaside here, it's really cool visualized. It looks badass. But at the exact same time, I actually do prefer the normal one a little bit bit better i don't know like seeing someone from a distance i feel like it's just a lot better in the coloring and the original seaside than this but that's just totally me in general so before you guys are watching this video i just want to i just want to say a hundred percent that the cordite here is an absolute monster this gun I'm actually glad that it did get a buff, and I know for like competitive wise, people use the SOG as a submachine gun to go with, but I think I'm gonna be that weird individual. I think the Cordite for me is like the HBR in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I know that was an AR, I know it was something completely random, but in my personal opinion, I feel like I love using the Cordite more than the SOG, and I love the, also the iron sight scope on this. Like The scope, just by looking at this gun, just from that demonstration, it reminds me of the HVK of uh, Call of Duty Black Black Ops 3 and I absolutely love that gun that was my AR to go with with Black Ops 3 especially with competitive wise if I'm using that gun 24 7 so if you guys haven't tried it definitely rock out the Cordite um it's definitely an easy gun to get headshots with so if you're working for that dark matter grind definitely an easy gun to go for so I guess another thing I'll talk about here of course is another you know, pink hair dye is why am I going with it so if you guys have been following me for a little bit 
I usually always do these dies just to kind of, you know, be someone different. You know, I don't really have a full go to it because I know gamers these days, for example, Ninja is a great explanation. Uh, they would die just because, well, they would want to, but also mostly for like, I guess, charity goals or donation goals. Like one donation goal would be like, hey, if I, you guys donate $500, I'll go and dye my hair. Or for example, if you're doing an awareness, like for example, breast cancer and you streamed or charity reaches $2,000 and if you reach that charity goal, then you'll of course dye your hair to a certain color for me I always wanted to stand out I always wanted to be different and ever since I actually first dyed my hair blue I figured you know what I'm gonna keep going for more colors this is something that I could actually pull off which I'm actually very happy about when I first dyed my hair I thought it was gonna be a complete disaster but it was actually not that bad and now I love doing it I'm so sick of my normal brown hair that I figured, you know what, every single time, let's go for a new dye and be someone cool or be someone weird. At my work, it's literally the funniest shit every single time I dye my hair or people look at you. People looking at you, to be honest with you, I think this day and age, people are so scared to judge, like, who you look like. Like, for example, if you do have dyed hair, you're going to be scared of what people think about you. For me, I just don't give an F whatsoever. And when people have that reaction and they see you and they're like, what the fuck is wrong with this kid? It just, it brings a smile to my face and I just completely laugh about it. So yeah, that was mostly the thing there. I haven't dyed it pink yet. Mostly all my other colors I've done is like blue. I've done teal. I've done green. I've done actually the Todoroki. By the way, if I'm a fellow weeb right here, yes, I've actually dyed my hair as an anime character from Todoroki from My Hero Academia. I did half red, half white, no BS. I can even have a picture on the screen right here. That's how far I actually won because I love that fictional character. For this, since I haven't done pink, I figured I'd go pink. I haven't done purple yet. I haven't done orange. So after this all fades away, of course, I'll be doing one of those other two colors. Since I live in Canada and since, you know, cold air, if you have dyed hair, it actually lasts a lot longer. So this could probably last me to like, I would, I want to go to like the end of January just because it is a little bit expensive, but at the exact same time, you know, try to keep it fresh and cool because I don't really want to go to a brown hair and I don't even know how I even did 16 and 8 in this game mode to be honest with you. Like, this is probably one of the hardest challenges ever for a video is recording and playing at the exact same time, man. It is such a struggle. I have no idea how people do this. But a really exciting opportunity I'm happy about is that as I'm recording this, one week away from CWL Vegas, it's going to be my first ever Call of Duty Black Ops 4 event. The first ever one for competitive that we're going to go and dive into the competitive atmosphere for Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Because this game, in my opinion, is so much fun. As I've told you guys in many streams or many videos that I haven't really experienced competitive. I haven't played a lot of, you know, the game yet if it's zombies or especially as HQ. So to actually see the other side of Call of Duty right here, and especially if it does do good as well, because this day and age now, this is the point of where competitive Call of Duty or just Call of Duty in general dies. You know, it's been having, you know, terrible games or people just haven't been liking it for two months because this game's almost been out for two months already, which is absolutely insane because the, always the trend for Call of Duty every single year has been a November release and since this game came out in October and it's almost December now I feel like this is gonna be a state of where it's at because if you're not a fan of competitive Call of Duty if you don't like watching it this is definitely you know the uprising for Call of Duty in general because if Call of Duty falls down literally the only standpoint on Twitch TV or the only standpoint of why Call of Duty is actually existing for example World War 2 is because of the MLG events or even COD champs or anything like that so I think it's gonna be definitely something different if the event does really good I feel like Call of Duty is going to go on a roll this year and we haven't seen any details yet of what uh the dlc is going to be like i know for example if you're a zombies fan they're not going to mess up on dlc on zombies i don't know how zombie is frequently like i said i can't really give a verdict on it i haven't even touched zombies yet on call of duty black ops 4 but if it's as good i think if people like it like it's going to be a good dlc all around i think people are going to enjoy it multiplayer map wise personally in my opinion for dlc i want them to keep remastering maps like i don't care if there's a complaint about that i want remastered maps like for example if we get dlc one and we get a remastered raid or a remastered standoff this would be the best game ever and i want that to be competitive call of duty or just you know call of duty in general where we get old maps back like just imagine all fan favorite maps into one call of duty that's where i want to be like because as you see from other games nowadays they just play the same game over and over and over again for how long you know it's always been like kind of that trend and for me personally if i'm playing 
the same maps from previous games? Yeah, I want that. Like, I want this game to feel like Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The maps in that game are absolutely insane. And if they could dive that into this game, I think this game could actually potentially save Call of Duty. And that's always been kind of a meme every single year of, hey, is this game going to save Call of Duty? Or is this game going to save Call of Duty? So that's going to be a really interesting topic. And I can't wait for more information of what Treyarch is going to do for the future of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 right here. But yeah, that was mostly the news. That was kind of my video here today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I know it's been a little bit since I uploaded to this channel, but since some stuff is coming up and some updates and especially the vlogs for City Bell of Vegas, guys, definitely a lot of content going to be coming here for the future. But hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thank you, of course, for watching. Uh, comment down below, of course, of what you guys want to see here for the future of the channel. Like this video if you guys haven't. And of course, subscribe to the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. We'll see you all hopefully in the next video here soon on this channel. Much love, everyone. As always, have yourselves a wonderful day.